what is it? What is white privilege? Yeah. As if, who doesn't know at this point? What's going on everyone, James Klug here. The left in America is certainly pushing it, but does white privilege really exist? And if so, what is it? Today we're in Los Angeles to find out what people think. But before we get started, you guys, I have a huge announcement. We have officially launched James Klug Com. If you want to support the channel and support us making more videos and changing more minds, head on over to jamesclude.com slash members and become a member today. Let's go talk to some people. In 2022, does white privilege exist? 100%. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like it does. Yeah. I think a little bit though. Okay. I believe so. You believe so? Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I would imagine it does. You imagine it does? I would imagine so. What do you think? Some places. <laughs> some places? Yeah. Probably. But not others? No. Yeah. What would what would I what would like make it some places but not other I not others? I feel like it's not every it's not that prevalent. In sports it's not that. Yeah. In in yeah. sports there is no like in, in You don't think white people are dominating the NBA? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is white privilege? Uh, let me see. I'll just leave it at that. I think I think it exists. And that's I, it. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. White privilege is. Uh, I don't know. Like you're a born citizen here, I guess. Like you get a little more privilege than everybody else. So American privilege, maybe. Yeah, American privilege. I I would say that American privilege definitely exists. Yeah. Now, I'm talking about white privilege. I'm literally talking about like getting ahead in life because of the color of your skin, not necessarily like statistical disparities, right? I think it's more about money. If, if you're a rich black person with a family who's, who's, like if one generation has stabilized themselves, I think this next generations are fine. It's Would that be a skin color thing or is that a financial thing yeah, or I a cultural thing? it's a financial th thing. Okay, it's a financial thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people get a little bit more opportunities than people of color. They, it's simple as, um, being able to afford a, an apartment. No, I think white privilege is just is a, more like an attitude that has a label. You know, there. Well, it, no. I, if white privilege existed, I wouldn't go outside every day and see white homeless people everywhere. The white homeless people aren't experiencing that white privilege. Of course not. So American privilege. Yeah. As for white privilege, you don't, you get less. I wouldn't say harassed in a sense, or uh, viewed upon if something like goes goes missing. Let's say something like that. Like a sketchy white kid goes in somewhere, and then you have like a well dressed, like like looking dapper, uh, let's say Hispanic kid. You think the white kid would would get blamed, yeah, or the or the or the, night, the dapper looking Hispanic kid? Yeah, that happened with me as well. Like there was two people in the in like one of the stalls, and they like questioned me because I had the backpack and they're like oh because you're they're like you took the phone and I was like no I didn't. Is it because you have a backpack or your skin color what do you think? I think my skin color mostly skin they color. questioned me and my friend. Do you think it's more of skin color than it would I, be I of outfits? I feel like it's more skin color I'm not skin, skin color, color. Uh, outfits honestly okay. just because if you're, you're badly dressed you're going to be viewed differently. Oh I said skin you're badly color dressed. Yeah. So you disagree with him? Yeah. You disagree or you agree with him? I agree, I agree with him. Right. Why do you think that white privilege does not exist in your opinion? Because I haven't experienced it yet. <laughs> I mean, everywhere I go, uh, you know, uh, nobody ever gives me any slack or, or you know, whatever. Uh, whenever I, I get pulled over by a cop, you know, I get a ticket just, you know, just like just like everybody else. Do you think that the term white privilege is damaging? Um, yes, I do. I think uh, the the term uh, will make anybody else think that, you know, that a uh, a white or Caucasian person has a better off than than, than them. And I think it will cause division, you know. And I think I think that's what you know that's what this is all made up to be, is the, is just to divide. All right, guys, let's take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor, which is James Klug. Great guy. Free speech is under attack, and content like mine is being demonetized left and right. We'll always make our videos free for you all, but for those of you that want to support the channel financially, head on over to jamesclue.com slash members and become a member today. Let's be honest, the more desperate the establishment gets for control, the more they're going to crack down on free speech. Go to jamesclue.com slash members and become a member today. That's jamesclue.com slash members. Thank you all so much for your support. Let's get back into the video. It's 2022. Does white privilege exist? In 2022? Yeah. Yes. What is it? What is white privilege? 
Yeah. As if, who doesn't know at this point? What do you mean, what is it? They're treated differently than people of color. What is it? Well, white privilege probably in the United States is looking at a first world nation that have concerns that would be laughable to many other nations around the world, our privilege. Yeah. I mean, for example, we just went to a restaurant here, the Sidewalk Cafe, Yeah. and we paid our bill, and this lady, the hostess, told us it wasn't an exit. But because the way we looked, she assumed that we didn't pay our bill. And she was a white lady. Do, you, do we have evidence that it was because of how you guys yes. looked and your skin color that she yes. said that? And what, what was that? It was towards my husband. I walked away to the restroom. She approached my husband. So you're saying because she thought he didn't pay his bill, yes. that white privilege exists. Is that yes. correct? That's correct. Yes. Right on. Like you're, you're saying, like you're saying, like oh my boat broke down. Like a first world problem right. is what you're saying. Something like that. But that's yeah. a first world problem, isn't that? Well, <laughs> or is that, is that white privilege? <laughs> it might be the same. <laughs> what is it? I mean, just people getting better benefit for themselves and stuff. And like, say, if I were to go to an environment or a job. You know, and they would kind of look at me maybe because of my color or my race and everything uh, as somebody maybe like not as privileged or something like that. But um, let's just say my name was not Amanda. It was Takara. Okay. And I applied for a job. Right. And someone else, same qualifications, name Amanda applies for the job. Automatically, they're going to call back Amanda. So name discrimination, in name, a sense? Name, white privilege, just because my name sounds now, white. They're, they're having studies about that. They've made the argument that it's more of a cultural thing. When someone has just a complex name, they pick the person's name that they think that they'll relate to more. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's correct or no? Yeah. So maybe just uh, more uh, financial opportunity and work or something like that, yeah. that would be good for you? So, uh, you know, the, the reason why we're asking this stuff um, obviously, in the United States, the highest earners are Asian, Indians, even Nigerian Americans make more money than white people. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on there? Mm, I don't know. I mean, probably because they're more hardworking. I mean, Asian Americans, Indian Americans, they're the top earners in the country. Yeah. So I'm comparing them to white Americans, um, and and they're making more than white Americans. So that, right there, I, what's going on? I have no clue with that. Like to be honest with you, because. Like, I guess it just, um... Go on a date with your mom and your brother, girl. Yeah, sorry, keep going. Where they come from, their background, their family, and, you know, if they had the resources, like, for schooling and stuff like that, if they grew up in a good neighborhood and the schools allowed them to, you know, kind of be themselves and not standardize tests and do all the, like, extra stuff. Do you think that culture and uh, all of that is more impactful on your socioeconomic status, your success in life, than skin color then? I would think so, yeah. Do you think that culture is a bigger factor, like, culture is a bigger factor than skin color in right. the United States? Of course, yeah. You think so? I think so, because, you know, it's a lot of tradition that, you know, their families have te taught them and it kind of like just runs in their blood and stuff so i would think yeah culture is a big factor in it honestly i think the term white privilege is also damaging to uh the african-american community and you know all the other communities because it's basically trying to tell people that they can't do something simply because another race just naturally is going to have privilege. Me being uh, half Hispanic, half white, I believe that no matter where you come from, what you look like, you can do whatever you want. So that's why I don't believe that white privilege is real. There are rich people, very famous and successful people of all different nationalities. So that's why I don't believe that white privilege is real. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So a lot of people are very confident that white privilege exists in 2022, but not a lot of people agreed on what the exact definition was. Let me know what you guys thought about people's responses in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next time I post. See you guys next time.